Can you predict what will come in 100 years? Can you see beyond the known dimensions of time and space into the unknown, dimension X? The red stars spread 200 light years across space. To the passengers on the immigration spaceship from Earth, they appear to be pinpoints of light in the darkness. The men, women, and children slept in their bunks in the tiered dormitories or sat reading the immigration folders that described the worlds of the red stars in glowing, rosy terms. Anne Travis stood before the vision port and searched for the spot of light which would be her new home. You, you can't tell which is which, can you? Well, I asked the steward for mine. There it is, you see? That nice, bright little star up in the left-hand corner? Oh, is that one? Yes, Alka 3. I'm going to meet my son there. He sent for me. Harry always was a good son. I used to say to my husband just before he died, Harry is a good son. Uh, I'm going to Dory Dora 3. My sister's there. Oh, isn't that nice? It's a wonderful thing for a young girl like you to start life way out here. I used to tell Harry's father that if he had any spunk, he'd be out on the ridge stars making a fortune. He was assistant buyer at Bloomingdale's kitchenware. I see. Maybe if I asked the person, he could point out Dory Dory 3. Oh, well, you go ahead, dear. You paid your fare like everybody else. Uh, what did you say your name was? Anne Travis. Well, I'm Lottie Elders, Mrs. Harold E. Elders. Though, of course, I don't use Harold's name now. Are you all alone? Yes, my folks died last year. That's why I'm coming out to live with my sister. Oh, why, you poor child, traveling halfway across space with nobody to talk to. Attention. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. I just know it. You are now within the Ridge Star Quadrant. The trip is almost over. Oh, this is just wonderful. Captain wishes me to inform you that a vote will shortly be taken to determine on which planet of which sun every passenger of this ship will be landed. Oh, what is he talking the about? The majority will decide, and all must abide by the decision. I don't understand. I don't understand. What did he say about a vote? Everybody had to go to the same planet, didn't he? Yes, but Harry's on Alka 3. Look here, Mrs. Elders, they can't get away with this. They can't just set us down anywhere. I've got to meet my sister, but what can we do? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to see the captain right now. Planning manifest 12436. Cargo holds 1 through 12 at premium rate, including... Sir, I want to see the captain. Well, look, I'm busy now. What kind of an outrage is this? I'm going to join my sister on Dory Dora 3. That's where I bought my ticket for, and that's where I'm going. Boat or no boat? That's what you think, baby. I'll call you back, Jerry. I want to see the captain immediately. Do you hear? Yeah, sure, I hear. Perfect in both ears. What's the meaning of this? What are you people trying to get away with? We're not trying, sister. You're in space now, kid. We don't go by Earthside red tape. But my ticket... Oh, you can paste that in the scrapbook. That's all it's worth. Where you're going, kid, fortunes are made and lost every day. The rich stars are wide open, and what the big operators say goes. But my sister's waiting for me. Oh, she'll get tired. It's a game, kid, and you're in. The folder said you were encouraging immigration. Oh, sure, sure. But all the improvements in Earthside working conditions in the past 50 years were to prevent wholesale immigration to the rich. That's why we have to cut the price of the tickets below cost and suck you immigrants out here. Why did you lie? Why won't you take us where we want to go? It's simple, kid. The only way to make a profit is to dump each shipload in one place. Uh, this cargo goes to Delphi, too. But, but the announcer said there was going to be a vote. Oh, sure. But uh, we've got it rigged so Delphi, too, gets it. Simple, isn't it? But, but you can. Oh, it's not so bad, Delphi. It's okay. We're bombing. Great world. Uh, especially for a kid like you. But how would I get to my sister? She's expecting me on Dory Dora 3. Can I take another ship? Not where you're going. What do you mean? Look, baby. Space travel is an Earthside monopoly. They own the patents on the rocket power that makes space travel possible. Now, the rich government offered a prize for a new kind of power that wouldn't infringe on Earth rocket patents. But until that drive is developed, you uh, just won't get off. No, I do. You mean 
You can't travel to another planet? That's right. There isn't any public transport, and only a millionaire could afford a private ship. You mean I'm just stuck? Mm -hmm. Like a fly on fly paper. Hey, where are you going? Back to my bunk. I want to lie down. Uh, wait a minute. I'm afraid you can't leave here till that uh, boat is taken. Why not? Well, I'm a kindly type, friendly fellow. I always give a straight story to anybody, but that means I've got to keep them under wraps. So, uh, you'll stay right here till we land on Delphi, too. <laughs> What shall we do? I'm sure I don't know. Harry, he's my son, you know. He'll be just friends. I know. Attention, attention, attention. Any immigrants not cleared or in the proper line in 10 minutes will be indefinitely detained. Oh, dear, I haven't been cleared yet. 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 Oh, dear, I haven't uh, All right, you. Come on. Uh, who are you? Never mind. Come on. Grab her, Al. Come on. Let go of me. What's the idea? Let go. Get her. Who are you? Let go. Let go. We can't take any chances, Al. Put her out. Right. <laughs> Sit up. What? Who are you? Your face. That's a motor-driven face dissolver mask. Oh, I've read about them. I've never seen one. Who are you? That's why I'm wearing a mask. Because I don't want you to know. But they're not. Quit, rock lady, quit babbling. I hold you in because you're pretty and intelligent looking. But why? You're going to make a thousand stellas for yourself, whether you like it or not. Stop looking like a scared rabbit. You can't do this. I'll, I'll call the police. The police? <laughs> what do you know about the Red Star government? Nothing. Obviously. A lot of things are different. Now listen. You go to the New Sol Hotel. Uh -oh. As soon as you're registered, you go to the Fair Play Employment Agency. They'll take care of you. Now take this. It's a tape reel. Play it back in your room. It'll tell you what to do. After it's played once, it'll destroy itself. Is that clear? I don't understand this at all. Have you ever heard of the seven-day poison? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's an interesting device. It feeds on the blood. On the seventh day, undergoes a chemical change, and... Oh. Very easy to use. You just inject it like this. Oh. Yeah, it's all over. For seven days. <laughs> The beauty of this poison is it can be made to look like a lock pattern in many thousands of small variations. The only antidote must be some of the original poison at its base. And I have that. Ah, oh, don't get hysterical. I'll keep the antidote here. You can get it after you've done what I want. But I don't know where I am. I, I don't know who you are. What if something happens to you? That's your problem. But remember, the police can't help you. I have the antidote to the poison. <laughs> All right, I'm through with her. Take her out and drop her to the hotel. <laughs> Can uh, I help you? 
No. No, never mind. I'd better play that tape. I guess you push this button. You will find in your purse a full cigarette case. Half of the cigarettes are doped. Tomorrow, you will be hired as private secretary to Arthur Blord. When you're alone with him, you will give him one of the cigarettes. The case he checks two at a time. The outer one is doped. When he's unconscious, push the brown knob on the case. That will call my men, and they will come for you. You must come with them if you wish the antidote to the poison. After that, you'll be transported to any rich star you wish. As soon as you play this reel, go to the Fair Play Employment Agency. There's no time to waste. Tomorrow, the seven-day poison will have only six days to go. Now that the reel is finished, it will destroy itself. Why do they have to pick me? Oh, for real. Come on, Travis. You've got seven days. <laughs> Miss Travis. Well, well. Everything seems in order. I must verify one thing. Yes, Mr. Marguson. You did arrive just yesterday on that immigrant ship from Earth. Oh, yes, sir. And this is your first job, not only on Delphi, but on any planet other than Earth. Yes, sir, that's right. We'll check that, of course. In the meantime, we can go up to see Mr. Blord. You'll be his private secretary. As we please. Did you say... Did I say what? Uh, never mind. Nothing. Have you heard of Arthur Blord before? Uh, not exactly. Oh, you would if you'd been in the registrars longer. Amazing man. Amazing. We'll wait here for the elevator. He must be very important. Important? There are names out here that they've never heard of back on Earth. And the greatest name is Arthur Blord. Really? In less than ten years, he's made himself an astronomical fortune. Astronomy. Here we are. After you. Penthouse. What's he like? You'll see. Very dynamic. Sharp. He outsmarts the big shots. The planetary operators. They exploit whole worlds. He exploits them. <laughs> they hate him. The red star operators. <laughs> Well, here we are. Come along, Miss Travis. Mr. Blord is waiting for you. Mr. Blord, this is Anne Travis. Her record and references. Not interested. You check them. Margerson, get out. <laughs> yes, Mr. Blord. Ready, Miss Travis? Yes, Mr. Blord. Take this dictation. Chromium field on transient four, value 100 billion stellars. Just plain slogging. Let somebody else do it. Tragona seven, forest, all treasure wood, priceless. Dennis Carey, operator, hard, cruel, brilliant. Should be interesting if I ever... You're new to Delphi, too, aren't you? Yes, Mr. Blood. I like new cities, new planets. They're soulless. They have no culture, no institutions with hardening of the arteries. Yes, sir. Now, I came out here as a wiper in an Earthside liner and jumped ship at Transion 4. That was ten years ago. You couldn't do that on an old world. Earthside, they develop the science. Out here, we use it. The great developments today aren't in science. You don't believe that, do you? But I'm not sure, sir. Will there be any more dictation, Mr. Blord? No, nope, that's all. Don't leave yet. Mind if I smoke? No, no. Like a cigarette? I, sir? I asked if you'd like a cigarette. Oh, uh, thank you, but I, I have my own. Oh? Earth cigarettes? Would you mind letting me have one? They're very rare out here. Of course. That's an interesting case. Ejects two at a time. Here, Mr. Blood, take one. Yes, thank you. Mm. Haven't smoked one of these in years. Light, Miss Travis? Thank you. 
<laughs> Drop the lighter under the desk. I'll get it. Sit back in your chair. Should be down here. <laughs> Miss Travis. Miss Travis. Hello, Dr. Gregg. Lord. I've got a girl here I want you to examine. No, she's out cold. Nope. Had her sitting in that wired chair and I just threw the switch. There was something phony about her from the beginning. The pickup needle from her chair was jumping like a kangaroo, and when I mentioned cigarettes, it practically blew a fuse. Uh-uh. Hmm? That's what I want to find out. Why she should be carrying doped cigarettes. I want her examined. The full hypnotism treatment if necessary. I want to find out who sent her. I want to know who's gunning for me. Lord, that's the best I can do, short of a full-length narco analysis. You sure about that seven-day poison? Absolutely. She's got less than six days. And she was right off the immigrant ship. This is the first time I've had a plant. Somebody found out I hire them fresh from Earth. I've got her memory track on that face dissolver mask. It was Delaney. I thought so. But he isn't working alone. It's that gang working for the prize on the new space drive. I got into the competition two weeks ago, and I guess they're afraid of losing the money they've put into research. What about this kid? She's got six days to live, and I wouldn't take any bets that they try to save her if she doesn't deliver the goods. They wouldn't even save her if she did. Delaney wouldn't want witnesses. Doc, set everything up the way it was before she went under. What are you going to do? I'm going to let them take me. Wait a minute. They're liable to... I know what they're liable to do, Doc. You take care of the girl and leave the rest to me. Okay... It's your funeral. Maybe. Now, let's revive Miss Travis. You set up the projectors. Come on, hop to it. All set now. When you reverse the field, she'll come to, and she won't even know anything happened. You remember exactly what you were doing when you knocked her out? Sure. I was looking for the lighter under the table for that doped cigarette of hers. Well, uh, I'll be going. Good luck, Artur. You'll need it. I'll be seeing you, Doc. All right, Miss Travis. Now let's take up where we left off. Hmm? Oh. Oh, I felt faint for a minute. Did you find the lighter, Mr. Blow? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I haven't had a good drag on an earth cigarette in years. It's... I... Stronger than I... Oh. I've got to call those men now. Let's see the brown knob on the cake. I don't want to hurt him, but what can I do? Where do I go? How's Blue, huh? I'd like a light. This thing sure fixed him. Where are we going? What do you care? Tell her. In six days, it won't matter. The boys give orders. What's the difference? These two are dead ducks. What do you mean? You think the boss will give you that antidote? He promised. Uh, oh, he promised. Did he really? But did he give his scouts honor? You know, spit twice and cross his heart. Please, stop it. What will happen to him? A board? Oh, you got me. Last three guys I brought over here ended up in the disposal unit. You mean they'll kill him? Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, no, they couldn't. They don't play for marbles out here in the rich stars. But, but the police... Eh, it's just like Earthside, sister. Police take their cut and arrest a couple of bindle stiffs every night to make it look good. Lord was playing around with some pretty big men. He knew what he was getting into. Oh, I didn't think they'd kill him. I don't know anything about the rich stars. Oh, that's tough, lady. Real tough. <laughs> There's 
the beam. We're here. All right. Fasten your straps. I'm taking her down. Where are we going? You're on Delphi One. What is this place? A private escape. Very private. Now you're coming with Glor now. He's heavy. All right. We stop here. I got to spring the voice lock. Combination. One, three, alibi, Peter, uranium. Repeat. Repeat. Uh, these things never work. One, three, alibi, Peter, uranium. All right, drag him in now. Where do you want him, boss? Clamp him in the chair. Give me a hand, will you? Yeah. All right. Get his feet straight. Yeah. Now throw the clamps. Inject the key stimulant. Right, boss. Tear up his sleeve, Al. <laughs> All set, boss. Do we have to keep on the masks? I got a cold. No, I think we can do without them. Shut off the power. Mm. Uh. There we are. Oh. He's coming, too. One. Um. Delaney. What? what am I doing here? I think we can get down to business, Blord. We represent 90 companies. We've entered the Ridge Government Contest to develop a space drive that won't infringe on Earthside patents. Oh? Well, Delaney, I've got news for you. Unless one of you has a power drive that's 25% faster than an Earthside rocket, you're licked. What do you mean? He must know. Delaney, you said... Quiet. Me. Can't you see he's trying to get us arguing? When I heard some of the low speed you boys were Shut using... Shut up! <laughs> All right. You have the floor, Delaney. Two weeks ago, you entered the contest. We know your reputation. You can't afford a failure. Your whole financial structure is a bluff. We know you have the drive. Lord, you better save time. Tell us now, what does your space drive run on? Twisted rubber bands. You'll force us to extremes, Lord. All right, take that girl out of here. No. No, let go of me. You can't kill him. I didn't know you, you tricked me into getting him. Get in her out. Come on, go. sister. Let's go. Oh. oh, all right. So you want to play rough? <laughs> okay, that's 23 you owe me. Your deal. Cut. I trust your deal. Oh, oh. oh, she's coming too, huh? That's nice. Dale from the top. Did, did they kill him? Who knows? You want the top card? No, neither do I. Where, where is he? In there. They'll let him go, won't they? They've got to. I didn't realize they'd kill him. Well, thank you. Just the card I wanted. A pleasure, I'm sure. Look, you've got to tell me... I, are they going to kill Mr. Bloor? Look, lady. A, you are interrupting a very important card game. B, you're better off if they do kill Bloor. Let's face it, kiddo. You crimped him good. Crimped him? You think he's going to like you for doping him and getting him into this mess? Bloor's a tough guy. When he first came out to the ridge, he killed three men in the mining camp over on Tranchy when they double-crossed him. Sure, if he ever gets out of this, I wouldn't bet a lead slug on your life. I'll go with ten. Please. <laughs> Tough luck, sonny. I got three. And double for spades. Uh, yep, if Blord gets loose, I wouldn't want to be in your place. But I... I didn't understand. They tricked me. I don't think Blord will sympathize. Deal the cards, will you? Hold it. Oh, Blord, you're a crawling rat. I'm a realist, Delaney. He's alive. You got me. So I'll make a deal. Now, look. We form a joint stock company. Each of you signs over his patent rights to the new firm, and we split the shares. You hear that? You get my space drive. I get 25%. Delaney runs the new company. The whole deal to be publicized if you wish. Lord, when this gets out, it'll ruin you. They'll despise you when they find out how much dirt you've eaten. Well, I didn't have much choice, did I? All right. Now the other part of the deal. You got me here through a certain young lady. Now, we can dispose of her. No. No, I think I'd like to do that. I'll take her as part of my 25%. 
Any objections, Delaney? No, just be careful. Get rid of a clean. We don't want any mess left around for the rich government to find. What are you going to do with me? You promised Did me... I? Get rid of a blood. Only make it clean. <laughs> You can loosen your strap now. We're on automatic. Where are we going? Back to Delphi, too. I, I didn't understand what they were going to do. I know. I didn't realize. I'm sure you didn't. Miss Travis. What are you going to do? I'm going to pay you off. Let go of my arm. Let go. Oh, you... Let go of me. Shut up. <laughs> what are you screaming about? Now hold still. It won't take a second. Just one small no, injection. No, don't. Let me go, please. Stop please. it, please. Stop. There. <laughs> Scratched my face like a cat. Huh? Will it take long? What? For me to die. For you to... <laughs> stop it, please. Please, stop it. But it's funny. It's very funny. That was the antidote. The antidote? The seven-day poison Delaney gave you. I got it from him before we left. Young lady, I knocked you out in my office and had your mind examined. I knew just what you had done. I came here because I wanted to. Oh. You mean you're not angry with me? Certainly not. Besides, everything turned out my way. Your way? But... They forced you to give them the drive. You signed away the right. I'm a percentage man. Let them do the operating. Besides, it was their drive in the first place. Their drive? Yes, it's simple. I knew that after the contest, there'd be a merger of research, so I merged it before instead. Wait till they discover they signed away their own patent rights. I don't think they'll feel like laughing then. But to give Delaney control of the new company... But don't you see, I had to get him to go along... He had the antidote to your poison. What about me now? Look at the vision port. Now turn up the scale. Oh. That's the ridge. You can have your pick. Name your world and I'll take you there. You said your sister was on Doridora 3. Yes, but... But what? I wonder if the opportunities for advancement... Aren't greater on your planet, Mr. Bloor. You know, Miss Travis, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if they were. How would you like to live in a world no larger than a single gigantic rocket ship? You'll find out more about it next week on... Dimension X. Today, Dimension X is transcribed in competition. Adapted for radio by Ernest Kenoy from a story by E.M. Hull. Featured in the cast were Elaine Rost as Anne and Les Tremaine as Arthur Blord. Your host was Norman Rose. Music by Bert Berman. Engineer Bill Chambers. Dimension X is produced by William Welch and directed by Edward King.